Hi guys, Miss Chris here from the Fountaindale Library. Today, we're going to paint or draw some fall trees. There's lots of different ways you can do it. And the great thing about a tree, you actually, if you kind of make a mistake and it's not as perfect as you think it should be, it actually makes the tree look more realistic. Next time you're outside, look at the trees. They don't go in straight lines. They don't go perfect. So it's a real fun drawing or painting to do because it does not have to be perfect. So we're gonna, I got a couple different kinds. One of my favorites are these four season trees. This one is made with oil pastels, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. This one, we always do acrylics. I don't think I'm gonna show you it today, but I wanted to just show you the painting. It turned out really nice. Um, this one's with pencil. If we have time, we'll do pencil too. And I'm also gonna show you, and I didn't make a sample, so we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna show you how to do a watercolor fall tree. Okay, so first we're gonna do an oil pastel. So we have our crayons, and we're gonna start going from spring to summer to fall to winter. Okay, so you guys will notice as I was coloring, I added some different colors, and it's not the neatest job, but once you have all your colors on your canvas, take a tissue, and you're going to blend the colors. And then you'll start to see, like in our winter scene, it looks like snow down at the bottom. I might even add a little more white. And be careful, especially with the darker colors, that you don't go too far, because then you'll just end up with white. And when you go over to orange and yellow, you wanna change your tissue. There you go, and once it's blended, then we're going to draw our tree. Okay, now we're going to draw our tree. And you can use anything, you can use a marker. I like to use a pencil, and that way you can sketch it out. And you can see by the sample here, I use pencil on that. Um, great thing about trees is the more scraggly you make them, the more not perfect you make them the more realistic they're gonna look. So, take your time and draw some very cool branches.
Now, since our sky is dark in this one, I'm going to color it in with a little brown just to make it pop a little bit more. But you don't have to. And you can make your sky a little lighter. I kind of went a little dark on mine. So let's see if we color it in with a little brown how that looks. And there you go. It's a pretty basic one. And then once you take the tape off, And there you go. Okay, so now we're going to do a simple watercolor fall tree. So we taped our canvas and we have our water and our watercolor paints. So don't forget when you're doing watercolors, unlike acrylics or other things, you're going to start with your like the trees first. Your background can come later. So let's just, let's give it a little bit more water. We want it to spread it out a little bit. You want to make your colors kind of spread out like a real, real tree leaves would. Okay, I know we went kind of fast today, um, but with the um, the oil pastels, super easy. When you take your time, it can look a little better. So take your time, have fun with the watercolors. It was still fun. I like, I kind of like it, even though it went so fast. It really looks like a fall tree. I can't wait till the trees actually start changing. Thanks for coming. <laughs>